Okay. So, I think I might have figured out a way to go past the uh, 108 stage endless run that I've managed to do on this channel. And I've been thinking about how I'm going to make that happen. So, it would be easier for me to just show you. So let's jump into this. New story. We're going to do custom playthrough. Continue. Okay. Random C. Alright. I think we have to go with Ayaka. We're doing the Harbinger of Doom difficulty. In the past I did True Believer, but... There was no Harbinger of Doom when this game was first released. It's still in early access, but the hardest difficulty was True Believer. So we're going to try this on Harbinger. Backstory... I might want to go with the Seventh Curse, because we do start with more funds. We just can't have any allies. And, let's see, extra options. Probably going to stick with Timeline A. Use character exclusive perk cards only. Okay. Prioritize new content, that's okay. Alright. I think that's it. So, let's go continue. We're doing endless. Okay, so this is where things start getting kind of... We gotta make a choice here. We gotta decide what type of old god we're gonna do this on. Somewhere, a group of people gathers, trying to awaken their master. So in the past, I think I chose... Yulats. Only because... Their... Um, their effect was, like, easy to navigate. Because I never really used spells. So casting spells, costing reason, increases doom instead. I thought that made things a little bit easier. But I'm down to try something that makes this a little more difficult, too. I don't think I'm going to go with... I'm not going to go with Atarasu. I want to be able to escape from combat. Herald of the Shattered Court, their effect doesn't do anything unless there's mysteries and... In Endless Run, there are no mysteries. Yugathog, they can increase your doom for going to certain locations, but I don't think I'm going to choose them. Athatu, probably not going to choose them either, because they're going to make the damage in the game more difficult. I think Goizo is probably a nice, a nice balance between keeping things approachable, but also making the run a little more difficult. So, resting increases Doom Penalty. If things work out the way I think they should, I should not have to rest that much. So, let's go with that. Banished to the other dimension long time ago, Guizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through the glass. Glimpses of horror lurking behind your reflection are just the beginning. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see if we can make this work. So, Hyaka starts with the Onyx Medallion, and her Hyaka's uh, whole build is about obtaining curses. So, curses are normally something that you don't want to get in game because they have different effects that make things more difficult for you, but with Ayaka, for every curse they have, when they level up, there's certain perks you can choose that for every curse, your character gets buffed in some way. So, starting an endless mode run counts as entering a mystery, so I think we've taken on two curses already, and it's the only two curses we're going to take on because the, the run's perpetual. Okay, so... Let's take a step back. Let's pick which shops we want. Probably gonna stick with the occult shop and the uh, the, the dog shop. Let's go with. I think I want to do. 
it's either going to be the library in the history club. Even though the school nurse is nice to have for healing uh, certain wounds, I want to be able to uh, have access to certain spells. So let's go with the library and the history club. Okay, hospital, that's fine. That's fine too. We need the witch's tree. That might come in handy. Okay. History club, library, okay, cool. Let's stick with that. So, let's see if we can get an item from the, the drawer over here. Okay, library notes. Cool, okay. And we'll grab one fun from this box. And since we're already fully healed, we're going to just do a warm water bath. It's going to give us a little bit of experience. So this is the last time we're going to be in our home for this run. Normally you'd come back to this screen for completing mysteries, but endless mode is just perpetual. We're not coming back. So let's jump let's jump into this. Let's see if I can get this to if if this run doesn't work how I think it's gonna go, at least this will be a good attempt in trying to figure out like the foundation for pushing an endless run beyond just maybe the first 30 or 40 stages that seem to catch us like either the the dooms are, is building up quickly or we're losing uh fights and in harbinger of doom difficulty i feel like fights are more difficult i want to say you you gain more doom for each investigation so let's try endless mode let's try it endless mode it's hopeless no matter what you would do, the destruction of your town and the awakening of an old god is imminent. Fight with the ever-increasing chaos as survivors try to find a way to escape from the doomed town. As you progress through the investigation events, you will be granted points and special prizes. Manage your resources carefully and hope for the best. So here are the two curses we got. Suicidal. Chance of losing stamina each time you lose reason. And I think paranoia has something to do with our... Uh, okay. Chance of losing reason each time you lose stamina. <laughs> wow. So these are like basically the... Uh, the... Those are... Those, are two, those two curses are complementary to each other, but detrimental to me. But... Okay. My idea involves trying to obtain the invisibility spell. So I did a little bit of research and it looks like there are 33 spells in the game that do different things. So there's a 1 in 33% chance that we can gain the spell that I'm looking for. So, I think we need to go to the History Club or the Library. Library will help us find spells. History Club offers spells and other things too. Let's try the History Club first because it'll, it'll show us what spell it offers. Okay, skin removal. That's not what we're looking for. Negative 10 Doom. Negative 3 Max Reason. That's actually a really cool amulet. I'm almost, I'm almost enticed to pick this up just because of the doom reduction. Let's take the gruesome totem. Okay, let's go back to, let's go back to the history club. I think if we go to the history club too many times, they can, they can off us. Okay, let's see. I feel like we have to equip it and use this. Let's just hold on to it. Let's go back to the History Club. I'm going to try this a few times. If this doesn't work, I might go to the library to start researching spells. Okay. Memory Extract. Okay, that's not what I want. Let's do it again. Okay, Void. Actually, Void normally would be good. 
if we're looking for the the katana, but I don't know why that feels promising. Let's keep let's keep going. I'm gonna try it a few more times and maybe I'll use that amulet amulet to try to pull the doom back down. Void again. Okay. Rock ring. Wow, it'd be two of the same spells. I wonder how many times I can walk into the history club before they decide to kill me. Grow teeth. Okay. That's not what we're looking for. Let's see. Oh, Eldritch Possession. This is actually one of the uh, bonus to all stats depending on the amount of curses you have. Damn. Okay, you know what? The Doom penalty for this is... Is, is, is not good, but if we can peel it back, it's also kind of one of the perks that I was hoping we'd be able to find. It was either going to be, a, either we're, we're going to get invisibility and dodge events until, dodge combat events until we can level up, or we can obtain this and amass curses at the tree to raise our stats. And then maybe we can just buy like a like a cheap weapon. I'm gonna take this, but I'm gonna use the uh, the gruesome totem. So it's gonna give me a doom penalty, but we're gonna roll it back. Okay. Let's um. Let's see. Okay, cool. Oh, see, it's it's while we're holding it. Okay, interesting. What's um? Let's see, suicidal, paranoia. Those are two curses. The two curses I really don't like, but let's do um let's go to the tree because we can also gain spells here. Or at least I think we can. So for each spell, or each we can either raise stamina, gain a spell, or gain funds. And for every thing that we obtain, we gain a curse. Just gain a spell. Let's see. Mind drain. Okay. Let's do it again. We can only do this so many times before the tree offs us. Okay. Traumatized. Negative 10 max reason. What spell did we just get? Threat of fate. Okay. Let's do... Let's do the tree maybe... Maybe one more time. to flame. Let's see. Maybe one more time. Okay. Okay, we only got we only gained doom for that, that's fine. So the tree tree's basically done with us. Um I'm trying to think if I should try the school. We've got we're at ten doom. Trying to think if there's a way to amass more curses. Usually the tree is really good for that. Let's see. There's gonna be curses that that get thrown to us by random too. Okay, Eldritch possession. We have five curses. Mind drain. We got a few spells. Deals four damage. Okay, we might keep that. Right of fate. I mean, we have something to, to destroy enemies, but we gain two reason. Okay. I mean, we can we'll we can try to swing this. Deal seven seven damage. Okay. Um, <laughs> I want to try the library once. Let's see. <sighs> Plus three doom. All right. Study old tomes. Give me another. Give me one more spell. Interpreting the old, incomplete translations is, is a tedious task. Finally, you find a fragment you're looking for. Okay. The book can go back. Return to the, return the book and exit the library. Okay, grow teeth. Alright, that's fine. Adds a new combat action bite. Until the end of this mystery. Alright. What's, um... Let's gain a weapon. We've got five funds. Let's go to the, um... Either we go to the hospital and we get the bone saw, or we go to the seaside and pick up something else. Uh, let's see. Let's try the hospital. 
Prime saw. Damage 5, speed 100, chance at 70. Okay, we're gonna, we might roll the bone saw. Pain, okay. Let's equip it. Alright, what's, we've wasted a chunk of time here trying to set ourselves up, but I, I'm hoping this works out. I'm hoping this gives us a little bit of an advantage. I didn't get invisibility, but I did get the perk card that raises our, our doom, uh, our, our stats, so let's just try to roll with that and see how far we can get. The only metro line in your town connects the university and the science complex. You could take a ride to gain some time, but you've got a feeling something is wrong. Where are all the people? We could take a ride. I think this is a luck check. I'm going to decide to walk. It's only a one point doom penalty. Walking to your destination takes precious time. Okay, let's keep going. Walking through the hospital corridor, you are stopped by an older man with a cast on his leg. You could help. Could you help me go down these stairs? All right, this is definitely a dexterity check. Let's try to help them. Okay. You struggle to help the man, but you both fall down the stairs. The man's cast breaks, and you scream. Underneath the cast, there's a seething sore, frothing with green bubbles. The man smiles. His smile way too wide for his face. Okay. A parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. This is probably a perception check. Let's try to investigate it. Okay, it was a knowledge check. <laughs> the bark is flabby and sticky. It makes you recoil in horror. Negative two reason. Come on. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. This is a perception check. It's one that I usually don't fail. Realize what's happening. Okay. They stole your wallet. You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing in the crowd. So you gained a little experience there. No one answers when you knock at Professor Takuchi's door. This is odd, since he's normally punctual about his appointments. The smell of blood tells you that something's wrong, and you quickly open the door and make your way inside. There's no sign of the professor, but the quantity of blood everywhere leaves little doubt as to what has happened, but how and why. Um, let's try to scavenge the room for useful items. Cool. We have more library notes. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should be using these. I could sell them, but... sell them but I can also use them to try and get more spells gain a random spell lose one to two reason let's see okay let's sell forget the spell okay let's sell some of these I don't think I'm gonna use I don't think I'm gonna use these okay let's try using library notes let's use one of them oh library book Use gain. Okay, what's what's good? Let's use this. Let's use the library notes. Two threads of fate. Okay. Well, that'll be interesting for uh, eliminating two human targets. Cost four reason. Man, that's so much reason. Mind drain deals four damage. Regain two reason. Negative one max reason. What's the gruesome totem do? Negative three max reason. So our max reason right now is only ten. So I guess we could try to balance using some of those spells to our advantage, but it's definitely gonna hurt us in some way. Through the dirty restaurant window you notice a shady looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? Let's follow the weird man. Okay. The door is locked, but you repeat the knocking pattern the suspicious man used. A moment later, the door opens, and a surprised teen with greasy hair asks who the hell you are. Mistaking these nerds for cultists sure is embarrassing, but deep inside you're relieved. Okay, we got a little bit of doom reduction there. 
going. You find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in, this, in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary, where doctors determine the causes of death. Pull the cloth off the table. Let's see, check out the freezer. I feel like these are all perception checks. Let's search the cabinet. Okay. Something flashes in the corner of a dusty drawer. Too late, you realize it's a rusty scalpel blade and you cut yourself badly. Alright. Oof. A woman bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. If I can't see it, she cries. They can't see me, right? You shudder, seeing a faint vision of Wazer reflected in the beauty parlor's mirror. Negative two stamina. Alright, alright. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Plus two doom. A woman jumps out of her apartment, covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower had started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. I'm going to try to... Maybe we'll try to calm her down. This could be a charisma check. Okay. When you touch her shoulder, she gets hysterical. Her reaction shocks you. You move away as more neighbors enter the corridor. Negative two reason. Okay. Let's try to... I feel like I haven't even had a combat encounter and I'm already losing just from the events. Let's try to bring the um, this doom back down. I was hoping, I was hoping that we'd get invisibility, but I'm I'm finding that like it might be more beneficial to um, I almost gain more curses just to raise our stats. Negative to max stamina and reason. Let me see something. Let me see what curses we have. Negative to knowledge, plus 10 max reason. We might actually want to heal this one. Some new look, traumatized. Okay. Let's try to, let's fix that because I feel like our knowledge could be higher. And the Onyx Medallion allows us to cure one curse every mystery, so we have one curse that we can't fix. Let's do it. Okay, our knowledge is higher now, which is really good. Let's see how long we can do this. It said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it. We're gonna try to tap into his power. I think walking away by choosing it's too risky damages us in some way. Okay, I'll take a doom penalty. You feel you've attracted the attention of something terrible. Okay. Mr. O, your neighbor, is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. We can let him come up with his own stuff. I don't think there's a penalty for that. It was all a dream. You're a genius, he shouts, grabbing a pencil. Excuse me now, I've got a bestseller to write. You roll your eyes and prepare to leave. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Let's, let's take a peek. We don't have an, any other choice. You gasp in pure horror. The twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. Okay, we took a hit to stamina there. Let's go to the hospital. Go to the doctor's office and we can take these painkillers from the cabinet. And let's heal our stamina. Let's keep going. This is the anatomy horror, and it's probably doing a lot of a lot of reason damage. They performed countless dissections to find the answer. Instead they found it. Alright. Negative two all. And I think this is a ghost, so I can't actually even use my weapon against it. Let's see something. How much damage? Four? Fourteen? Okay. I gained two reason. 
Negative one max reason. Okay, we're probably gonna just have to use this a few times. Okay. This is gonna bring us down, but it might save us. Wait, how much how much damage are we doing by banishing this? You can do it twice, four, eight. Okay, so let's use Mind Drain one more time. This should finish him. Okay. Trying to figure out how I can get more curses. <laughs> Just curses. The tree's always where it's at, but... Unless we pick up curses just on their own. You're stopped by a masked man wearing a lab coat. He introduces himself as a researcher from Tokyo University, testing a new treatment method that would revolutionize modern medicine. Holding out a pile of documents, he tells you he can heal your wounds for free. You just need to sign here. I don't think we have any status effects that are wounds, so let's decline. You politely decline the generous offer and continue on your way. Okay. This is a, this has to be a luck check. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. Okay. Charisma? Okay. I don't know why it's charisma. Unintimidated by the painting, it gives you a new insight into the madness that possessed your friend. Okay, let's go downtown. This, is, this has to be a dexterity or perception check. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package but hesitate, an icy feeling settling into the pit of your stomach. We're going to try to examine the package. Okay. It's not until they, you've unwrapped it that you understand what it is. Shocked, you let it fall to the floor from your bloodied hands. I feel like the check for this to fail and to succeed has the same description, except one, you just don't lose reason. Wait, why is it suddenly so dark outside? You stand by the window to take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, coating everything in an oily vapor. We're gonna try to observe the fog. Oh man, I'm getting beat up, getting beat up. By the time you realize the vapor is forming into a giant hand, it's too late. It crashes through the window, sending shards of glass everywhere. Pff, our stamina is so low. Let me see if there's a way. Do we have anything to heal that? I don't think we do. We'd have to go to... We can go to... Um, let's see. Let's sell these notes. Let's go to the... Pharmacy. Get some painkillers. Okay. Let's go. We're going for, for stage 20. I think I can get further though. While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. The elevator doors open. Okay. Let's, um... We're not done yet. Hold on. We're gonna sell... We're gonna sell... Th uh, Threat of Fate. Elevator doors open, revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator, biting and suffocating you. Later, you wake up in a doctor's office. A nurse discovered you lying unconscious on the elevator floor. Okay. Let's get to 20 at least. Suddenly, it got really cold in the corridor. As you turn to leave, you're stopped by a man with unnaturally pale skin and, and giant lips. He kisses the air and takes a step closer. It's the... It's the... Gigolo. And, of course, they're doing... <laughs> Three reason damage. Um, let's let's use mind drain. Let's see how much damage are we doing? Five, seven. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, now we can probably might be able to use. Oof! Oh no. Okay, hold on. It's gotta be something I can throw at him. 
Oh, I gotta throw this. I don't think I'm gonna survive if I don't throw it. Now we can do... How many attack boost? Four? Okay. These should hit for a 90% chance. 90% chance to hit for two normal attacks. Okay. I am, I'm in a tough, I'm in a tough spot right now. Um, let's bring, um, oof. maybe we take the funds only because we're going to get stopped by the, the, um, the tax man. Okay, let's take the funds. Let's keep going. Maybe we can get to 30. If this run doesn't, after this run, I'm going to try again. I've got, I still have an idea. I'm still trying to figure out a pattern here. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Right, let's read the letters. Oh, just, I just got those funds. Staying up late investigating the current case has really increased your electricity bill. Alright. Well, we had two bucks, now we don't. <laughs> oh no. Alright, we got another curse. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Let's see, what did we get branded? Chance of raising doom, each investigation. But I think our max reason's increased. So we can start using brain drain again because we got rid of the um, the statue that we had. I, I think the tree is the only place where you can gain curses. I could be wrong. History club. I don't think you can gain curses from them. Unless there's certain items that give you curses. Maybe we can pick them up randomly, but... Okay, let's let's keep going. We're gonna keep trying this. As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. Let's take a hot bath. I think we're only gonna get a one point doom penalty for staying. The hot bath is so inviting that you spent an extra hour in it. Come on. I'll take more curses too if you want to give them to me. A friend returning from a trip to Africa has invited you to dinner. This time they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast full of exotic meals. It's getting late and you can't stay for long, but the host asks, asks if you want to take anything home with you. I think if we take the steak we can heal stamina, but it also hits us with a curse too. So let's take the long pig steak. Let's eat it. Okay, so we got another another curse. But okay, negative one charisma. That's fine. I guess I guess we can focus on certain items that will help us obtain curses like that. Like we can get the wine from probably from the um Thinking from the illegal den, which drinking it would give us curses. But it also, I think, reduces your stats by a little bit. The investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. We're gonna say I'm gonna say no time for it. Which will give us a little bit of a doom reduction. As inviting as it may be, you have more important things to do. We just took a bath. <laughs> we just we were just there. Let's let's keep going, let's keep going. Something pulls you towards the beach. A statuette, half buried in the sand, is calling you. Feeling your hands shaking, you take a step closer. Normally, in classic mode, taking this, you would see it back in your home, but because we're not going back to the home, we can take it, and I think there's no penalty. The statuette is surprisingly heavier than it looks. Mesmer mesmerized, you take it home and wonder where, you, where you'll display it. It's a bad idea. Okay. Let's see. These curses are, they're uh, obviously not great to have, but, they, well, that's a lie. They kind of are good to have. We need to get more curses if we want our stats to go up. You follow the faint sound to a telephone line pole. The moment you notice giant hairy balls underneath it, they start to twitch and rise. <laughs> God, okay, Do, doing doom damage. 22 HP. Let's see if we can eliminate this quickly. Can we do 
two normal attacks. With what? With four attack boosts. Okay, so we'll do two for each normal attack. So these are hitting for what? 75, 85? An 85% chance to hit? Okay. That's not too bad. Let's do it again. We should, let's prepare a strong attack, or any attack, and we'll finish him. Okay. Cool. We can level up. Let's see, maybe... Maybe we re-roll these perks. So we can... Maybe we can get Blood Mania. Um, let's see. Okay. I don't know if it's worth doing it again. I kind of want to... One more time. There we go. All combat moves deal extra damage and are faster depending on the amount of curses you have. Okay. Negative 10 max stamina. That's fine. Let's bring, um, let's see what the Bone Soul is. Bone Soul, I think it's a strength weapon. I think it's a strength weapon. I kind of want to f would want to focus on bringing up the Bone Soul. I can look it up real quick because it's not showing me here on the uh, on the main screen. It's got to tell me what type of weapon it is. It's a knowledge knowledge weapon. Okay. Um, our knowledge is at seven. Maybe we bring up something else just to balance things out. Let's bring up dexterity, and I think that's it. Okay. Cool. Let's get to 30. The round, the round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling you. You feel you, your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. If you fight the feeling, you're going to take damage. If you get lost in... I mean, either way, you're going to go into the portal. Let's just get lost in the light. I think we gain one reason back. The blinding light is growing larger and larger. To your shock, you can't feel the ground under your feet. You prepare yourself for whatever is coming. Hopefully it sends us to the bleeding desert. Lost in time and space, you drift to nothingness until something pulls you toward the light. No, we go to the upper kingdom. Oof. Let's see, what was it? I don't think we can heal any more reason. If we climb the temple, we're going to take reason damage, but... We'll heal stamina. If we submerge ourselves in the sacred blood, we take stamina damage, but heal reason. Unfortunately, I think our reason is starting to max out. We have like too many curses and effects that are have reduced our um, our max reason, I think. And plus, I was using the uh, brain drain spell a lot, the mind drain spell. Okay. Maybe we um. Maybe we submerge ourselves. Oh, interesting. That, uh, it seemed to, to go up. You take a step into the pool of blood. The crimson liquid burns your skin through your clothes with boiling blood. Something else rushes into your ears, your ear canals. Voices of countless scholars revealing the forbidden secrets. Okay, negative three stamina, plus three reason. Okay. Let's see if we can keep going to turn 30. As you walk through the village, crops waver in the breeze, following your every movement. Negative two reason. Okay, we're almost to 30. Let's go to the forest. Oof, man, I'm getting hit with a ton of reason damage. The trees overhead block the sunlight and you begin to feel gloomy. Negative two reason. All that reason that we just gained back is just gone. Um... Let's peel the doom back, maybe. Or, let me think. No, maybe we can heal. Let's heal stamina, and then we'll sell those two spells to gain some um, some reason back. We'll sell some Threat of Fate. Okay, let's get to 40. Suddenly, the Onyx Medallion begins to shake violently. You try to stop it by pressing it hard to your chest and it burns your skin. 
You yell in pain, catching the attention of a man standing nearby. He takes a step forward towards you. He takes a step towards you and grabs your hand, clearly trying to help. Help, just like your friends try to. Before you can say anything, the man explodes into a cornucopia of blood and gore. The medallion has claimed another victim. Let's search the remains. Okay. Oh, and we gained a curse for that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that's such a good thing. Being guided by the medallion's strange powers, you stick your hands you stick your hand into the pile of steaming flesh. The meat fuses with your skin and slowly gets absorbed. Okay. Plus two stamina. Plus five experience, we gain another curse. Let's see. It's probably cursed science, because I don't remember that one being there before. Let's see if we can get to forty. You enter the hospital looking for information about a certain patient. The main corridor is dark and strangely empty. You spot a nurse at the registration booth. She's asleep from exhaustion. I think we can sneak past her. We have enough dexterity. Let's try. We can set if we set the trash can on fire. I think we gain doom. If we let her sleep, I think we gain doom. Let's try to sneak by. Okay. You manage to sneak past her. Unfortunately, the old cabinet squeaks loudly, waking the nurse. You're thrown out of the hospital. Okay. That's cool. All right. Oh no! This is definitely going to be a reason, a reason, uh, some reason damage. Impossible angles and seemingly, seemingly moving lines makes your head spin, stare in disbelief. How is how is this possible? Okay. Negative one reason. Our reason's taking a hit. I don't think I have anything to heal it with either. Unless we go home and rest, but... Okay. Whatever. Let's, we'll figure this out. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. I think this is the Twisted Corpse. Oh, they're doing a lot of... Doing a lot of reason damage. I could run, but... Let's see. What are we doing? Um, five? Oof. We don't have any funds. We can't sell anything. Um, let me think. Unless I try to banish him the old-fashioned way, I don't think we're going to survive this attack. I can throw the bone saw, but then I don't think I have a weapon to um, to sever them with. I think because we have the bone saw as a weapon, it gives us that option. Um. Let me think. Cost two reason. Can we heal reason for stamina? What if we do? It's gonna be four. Okay. We'll do two of those. It'll bring me to four stamina, but it'll give me four reason. So we should be able to survive one more swing against them. Let's see. Okay. Okay, we can attack one more time. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh, I think I might be able to survive this. I think this only does two or three stamina damage. Feeling like you're on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend, Father Yasugi. Hey kiddo, says the priest who's currently moving some boxes in and out of the church building. Could you lend me a hand? Let's lift the heaviest box. It's going to do stamina damage, but it should heal reason. Okay, cool. Lifting the box, you feel your back cracking, but you manage to get it all over with relatively quickly. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you inside for a cup of hot tea and home-baked cookies made by one of the parishioners. You explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all of your doubts and anxiety. Plus three reason. Negative one stamina. Okay, let's see if we can get the 40. Excuse me. Do you have a moment to talk about our real lord and savior? 
The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello, are you still there? I th if we hang up, we take reason damage, but we also get some doom reduction. Or, okay, never mind, so I thought we did. You put down the phone, a little shaken up. Just how many people did that odd man call today? I'll take negative one reason. It's not preferable, but it's minimal. The suspicious group has this the suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They're enacting some sort of a ritual in a clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. Okay, let's attempt to climb it. It should be a dexterity check. Okay, it's a strength check. You manage to see some of the faces and hear the names of the group. Plus five experience. Almost a 40. Ooh, this is definitely a strength check. Suddenly, the air around you begins to whirl. A supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. Let's brace ourselves. Cool. The sudden blizzard disappears as fast as it began. You leave the beach quickly. Okay. Per this is a perception check. Stop. This is a crime scene. You are halted by a sweaty police officer. Behind him, two other policemen are packing something in black bags. Try to learn what happened could be a knowledge check. But focusing on the officers is definitely a perception check. Let's just focus on them. Let's see. Let's see if perception works. Oof, okay. You manage to, caps a, gl you manage to catch a glimpse of a corpse with crushed head. Blood and gore is everywhere on the sand. Negative two reason. Interesting. It didn't look like it did two points of reason damage. Oh no. This is going to be definitely a reason, a hit to reason. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. We assume the worst. Branded like cattle. Oh no, our doom maxed out. Okay. Let's resolve the event. The horrible god snatched almost everyone from your city. Weeks later, you and a group of survivors have managed to cover all mirrors of a building you currently reside in. When you see your reflection in your lover's eyes, it takes you a while to realize the gut-wrenching implications. You start to scream. Guizo has found another way in. Oh no. Oh, that's wild. That's a wild ending for Guizo. The, I feel like they kind of fleshed out some of the old gods endings okay so I feel like there's definitely an RNG element definitely an RNG element to um, getting the um, prerequisites for extending the run but it involves it involves getting invisibility so I don't have to fight enemies and somehow it's got to be a combination of invisibility and and getting spells to um, well getting invisibility and then getting curses so I can uh, bump um, a Yaka stats so let's try this again Custom playthrough. Okay. It's always random. Random seed. Okay. Let's go true. No, we're doing Harbinger. Threat level increased. Character stats decreased. Stronger enemies. Okay. Let me see these backstories again. You start with extra experience and bandages, but each damage can cause an injury. Hunted by the cult. You've managed to run from them. Okay, but the cult is tireless. Solving mysteries reduces more doom, but you get more unique combat encounters. I think the seventh curse is still where it's at because we start with funds. And I need those funds. You start to play through with more funds, but you can't have any human allies. 
Okay, ill fated is just all event skill checks automatically fail. That's it's too intense. Do the seventh curse again. We're gonna pick. We're gonna pick a Yaka. And let's see. Probably leave these the same. I want character exclusive cards. Um, maybe we keep the content randomized. Item statistics randomization off. We'll keep it off. Okay. Let's go back. Alright, I think this is everything. Seventh curse, okay. Let's try this again. Endless mode. Somewhere a group of people gathers, trying to awaken their master. <sighs> okay, what do we go with here? I'm almost inclined to stick with Goizo again. But, um... Yolatsa is going to be the easy way out. A thought too is going to make everyone stronger, but it makes you stronger too. Maybe we go with the thought too. Let's try the thought too. The supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue, has been recently discovered and is currently waiting in the Museum of O for its long awaited premiere. Both your damage and your enemies is increased. I guess this this would probably be cool if we can get um the um the katana or some kind of high powered weapon. Okay. All right. Let's see. If we started with, with anything. No. Okay. Let's go home. Let's load these up. Manage combat encounters and share your knowledge with the with the officers. I, you know, I never used a police station before, but I don't know what they mean by manage combat encounters. I wonder if, like, it, it causes you to have less combat encounters by going to the police station and choosing something. Let's turn on the history club. And... Mansion, village, apartment. Okay, let's continue. So, let's see. Empty bottle. Okay, cool. And let's grab this fund. Cool, cool, cool. We will fill the empty water bottle, and we can still do a warm water bath to gain some experience. And that's all we can really do in this screen. Let's jump into this endless run. Okay, those two curses are, are not too bad. I could have one charisma and... Branded chance of raising doom each investigation. Okay, we can we can navigate this one. I think it's hopeless. No matter what you would do, the destruction of your town and the awakening of an old god is imminent. Fight with the ever increasing chaos as survivors try to find a way to escape from the doomed town. All right. As you progress through the investigation events, you will be granted points and special prizes. Manage your resources carefully and hope for the best. Okay, let's um, let's actually go downtown first. Let's go to the dog shop. Let's see if we can get the compass. Ooh, it's three funds. I didn't realize how expensive it was. Plus two experience for each investigation, for each investigated location. Okay, that'll help with um, um, getting more experience for each event that we pass. Still need a weapon though. Let's go to let's go to the doctor's office. Let's take these painkillers and sell them. And maybe we go to let's go to the hardware store. And let's get a weapon. Let's see. Crowbar. Ooh, it's got a nice chance. Nice eighty percent. So I think the lower the number is for speed, the faster the weapon is. Even though the chance to hit is slower. Oh, it's four funds. Oh no. Do we not have enough? Okay, maybe we sell the bottle of water. 
Let's take the monkey ranch. It's gonna drop our, our um, strength by a little bit, but I feel like we can, um, with enough curses, we should be able to, um, should be able to um, <laughs> increase our stats where the weapon becomes useful. Let's try the history club. Okay. Dang, that's that's the perk that I want. <laughs> I guess we just take it. I guess we just take it now since we're there. Since we're here, we don't have, um, we don't have, um, we do not have invisibility, which is what I'm looking for. Ah, uh, let's take it. Let's take it. We'll find a way to peel the doom back. Um, let's go back to, um, Let's go back to the History Club. Shadow Shroud. Ooh. For the duration of this mystery, ignore location's threat level. Complete a mystery list. Okay, that's actually not bad either. I feel like the, that, that's really good. Because we can keep if we keep the, the threat levels low, we're not going to be dealing with maybe a lot of enemies or tough investigate um, tough events <sighs> I feel like I'm just gonna accrue all the doom I could get like now shadow shroud let's take it let's use it okay and for the duration of this mystery okay let's sell it let's go to the tree and gain spells from the tree it's gonna give us curses, but I—that's I, what I want. Okay, we got Shra Shadow Shroud again. Let's go back. Come on. You know what I'm looking for. Cost for a reason. Discard on use. Ooh. Plus one knowledge. It sounds so good. I think we can do this four times. Oh, you can't keep giving me the same one. Okay, one more, one more. This tree hates me. Oh, okay, we can do it like three times. Okay. Um, let's do um. Shadow Shroud. Okay, let's let's cast a spell and let's sell these. We'll gain a little bit of it back. Okay. I read this one. We already have this one. Okay. Let's see how many curses we have. Okay, we're at 26 doom. Hopefully the um let's see what statuses we have. Okay, so the, the spell doesn't show it doesn't show that we have um it does not show that we have the um ignore threat level, but I'm assuming that it's it's in effect. I'm gonna get rid of one of these curses. The mind wipe is kind of dangerous. Negative 100 experience. Let's just let's, let's get rid of that. And okay, cool. So we're not at negative 95 experience anymore, so we can kind of move forward. I wanted invisibility. We didn't get it, but let's just let's let's try to let's try to wing this. You had no idea that the funeral you've been invited to would end with the guests slashing their hands to feed the deceased with their blood. You stay at the back. Shocked by how grotesque it is, suddenly your guests turn their heads in your direction. It's your turn now. Let's see. Try to talk out of this. Follow the awful tradition. So our charisma is higher than our strength. Fighting your way out is definitely strength. Let's try to talk them. Try to talk them out of this. Okay. The mourners don't take no for an answer and forcibly draw your blood. Negative two stamina. This is uh, definitely a doom penalty. The roads seem to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. Let's get lost. You spend hours trying to find a way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Okay. Let's go to the apartments. As you prepare 
a bath. You think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. We'd need high strength for that. Let's take a hot bath. It's going to give us some doom, but it's just one point. Okay. Go back to the apartments. This is a charisma check. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. <sighs> Man. Sometimes the way these start... I feel like I'm getting roughed up before I even get off the line. Intimidated by the unsettling painting, you're haunted by nightmares. Negative two reason. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, no, 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 no. A pale woman wearing nurse outfit stops you. Today, we're running a blood drive to help those in need. You look healthy. We'd be so kind and help the community. If I make an excuse, we're going to take a hit to you. To reason. We can donate our blood. It's a strength check. Let's see if we can donate it. Oh, it's a, it's a luck check. Okay. The weird nurse connects you to a machine in an empty room and leaves. You feel weaker and weaker, but only when the blood bag bursts open, spraying your blood everywhere, the alarm nurses free you from the contraption. Okay. Come on. Oh, this one again. What was this? You find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. Dis the disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary, where doctors determined the causes of death. I feel like I always search the cabinet and nothing, and that never works. What's? Let's try pulling the cloth off the dissection table. Oof, man. Before you can uncover what's hiding under the cloth, you involuntarily, um, involuntarily let out a scream and run from the mortuary in terror. Negative two reason. Come on, let's investigate this hospital. Let's keep going. De this is a dexterity check, 100%. Walking through the hospital corridor, you are stopped by an older man with a cast on his leg. Could you help me go down these stairs? Come on. Here we go. It takes you some time, but you successfully help the man and bring him a wheelchair. He thanks you and sp he thanks you and smiles. All right, let's get to let's get to t level ten at least. It's said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it. We're gonna try to tap into his power. Oh, interesting. I lost a a point of reason for that. Touching it with your hand. You feel a newfound knowledge forming in your mind. Okay. Well, we gained a spell that heals stamina, but our reason's taken a, a pretty serious hit. Alright, let's go to the forest. Okay. You discover an old campsite located on the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down, and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Search the tent. I feel like this never works in my favor, but I'm going to investigate the ground for clues. Oof. Did the wolves learn how to walk on their hind legs? Negative two reason. Okay, we might have to sell this. That's way too much reason damage. The investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. We're, we're going to say no time. We have no time for it. It's going to bring the doom down. As inviting as it may be, you have more important things to do. Okay. Oof. This is so... You know... I feel like we could... It would be cool if we can just gain curses from... Um, from the screen, but... It would, go, it would go against everything that the game is trying to... It wouldn't benefit anyone but Ayaka. Let's bring the Doom down. Um, maybe we rest at home? Let me think. I don't have any funds either. Let's bring the Doom down. That's five Doom. 
Let's go home and rest. Plus two stamina, plus two reason. Okay, you take a long hot shower. You sit on a couch and read your favorite book. Time, time flies by so fast, you prepare yourself to leave and continue your long investigation. Okay. So we got a little bit of reason back. A little bit of stamina back. Let's get to stage 20. Okay. The town stock are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wooden temple occupies a small hill at the town center. Let's pray at the temple. It doesn't matter if you believe or not, the smell of burning incense and old wood calms you down. Okay, plus two reason. That's good. Let's keep going. Wants us to go to the hospital. Okay, this guy. I knew this guy was going to come eventually. It's a bad time to be out of cash, says the grim looking man who's standing in your way. Our company, fortunately, specializes in cases like yours and will gladly help you get back on track. After all, he takes a step closer and you can swear there's a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. Let's um, let's do the stamina, jar of blood. You, s you startle awake on a park bench. Did you faint? There's no sign of the grim man anywhere, but you find an envelope full of cash inside your pocket. Okay, I get a three stamina. We got two bucks, two dollars for it. You know, I guess that's worth it. Oh no. Okay. A heat wave continues with record temperatures. Continuing your investigation takes more and more effort. Negative two stamina. <laughs> I'm losing so much stamina now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The museum started hanging up posters promoting the Greek art exhibition, unaware of the danger. The opening night may prove to be the last night for all of us. I thought to is coming and now you know the date. Plus three doom. We also got some experience. It was only a matter of time before something decided to show up. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decided to take the rarely used stairs. Oh, it's the um, twisted corpse. Like we, I feel like we're always fighting this guy. You suddenly trip and grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. They're doing a ton of reason damage, too. I guess as they should be, since we're doing the uh, Othatu playthrough. If, if we chose Othatu as the old god. Okay, we're doing... Five. Okay. Let's, um... Let's see if we can, uh... It has nine damage. Nine... Plus, can we do, can we sever it? No? <sighs> Let's see. You can do two severs, but for some reason we can't do. Time needed 100. 105, it's so, it's so close to letting me do both. Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna have to take the hit. We'll do it again. I don't like that. Hopefully we can get to, um... Oh no. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. Oh no, 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 no. We don't have any spells. Okay. Let's resolve this event. I think we're done so. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee. Revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. Okay. That encounter was the final straw. Your mind is snapped and you've been locked up in an asylum. You'd be comforting to accept that you were insane, that no old god is awakening to devour humanity, but the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if we can, um... Let's see if we can get the, um, invisibility spell. See if we can get the invisibility spell on the custom playthrough. On Harbinger of Doom using Ayaka. Okay. Okay, okay. Going to Ayaka. 
Harbinger of Doom. We're gonna stick with the seventh curse. And let's turn uh turn off, keep the content randomized. We're gonna keep the content randomized, so we're turning off the mode that prioritizes new content. Okay, Harbinger. Seventh curse, okay, Hayaka. Good. Endless mode. Let's go back with uh, let's use Goizo again. Resting increases Doom penalty. Okay. Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through the glass. Glimpses of horror lurking behind your reflection are just the beginning. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing. We're really we're trying to get the invisibility spell. So we can avoid those those combat encounters. Shop for items, a cold shop. Okay. Let's save that. We're gonna turn on History Club. Okay, these look good. Legal Den, I want that. Knowledge, okay. Let's see. Squares. Okay, we want library and history club. Okay, cool. Empty bottle. Alright. Let's grab this fun from the box. And let's fill the bottle. We'll take a warm water bath to gain a little bit of experience. Let's jump into another endless run. Negative two knowledge. Plus ten max reason. Okay. And hunger. Negative one charisma. Those are those curses are, are hitting my stats. It's hopeless. No matter what you would do, the destruction of your town and the awakening of an old god is imminent. Fight with the ever-increasing chaos as survivors try to find a way to escape from the doomed town. As you progress through the investigation events, you will be granted points and special prizes. Manage your resources carefully and hope for the best. You'd be granted points and special prizes, but it's... It's a... <laughs> it's not a lot, that's for sure. Okay. Um, I kind of want to, let's see, I kind of want to grab that compass again, but let's go to, oh, do we go to the history club or would we go to the library? Let's go to the history club. Okay. There it is again. Eldritch possession. It's like, it, it always wants to give me that one. It's, it's really good if you have curses. It's a great item if you have the curses, but maybe maybe we'll grab it. We'll we'll try it again. Okay, let's go to the tree. Let's get let's get spells from the tree. I feel like that would make more sense. Okay, give me the spells. Let's see what we got. Shadow shroud. The duration of this mystery, ignore location's threat level. It's not bad. Let's cast it and we'll sell it. I think this will make the chance of running into certain enemies less um, often, less frequently. Let's see, absorb. Deals two damage. Getting to stamina. Okay, I think we can go to the tree one more time. Okay. There's the thought to flame. Okay, how many how many curses do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Look at this creature. <laughs> I guess this is what guilt looks like. Alright, I think we can only go to the tree three times. Okay, so we can only do the, tr the tree three times. Um, <sighs> Alright, let's see something. Let's try to... Brain damage. Negative two knowledge. Let's, let's clear... I think we're going to clear that one. Let's see. Chance of losing reason. Negative ten chance to own combat encounters. Etude. Yeah, okay, I'm not worried about that one. Let's take out brain damage. And maybe we go to the school and study, or do we go to the history club? 
Maybe... Let's go to the History Club. Memory Extract. What does Absorb do? It heals, but it also costs like a ton of... Wait, deals 2 damage, gains 2 stamina, costs 4 reason. But then... Wait, did I just exit out of the school? It didn't even let me, uh... Wait a minute. Why are we, um... Did it, it just, ex it just took me out of the school. I didn't even, um, pick anything. Weird, it gave me the... Where did the ritual robe come from? That's really strange. Okay. Um... I don't know what's going on. Let's go, um... Let's go to the History Club again. Okay, there's Memory Extract. Plus two Reason. Absorb, cost reason. Okay. Absorb, cost reason, but also does damage, but heals stamina. This one gives you plus two reason, but costs ten experience. Let's maybe pick up memory extract so we can almost like heal ourselves perpetually now. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's. Um, I'm gonna try the school one time. Let's see if we can we we can get really lucky here. Study all terms. No 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 no. Hold on. Really, we can't leave. Okay. Let's just study all terms. Okay. Let's see what we got. A polish. Lowers eldritch enemy damage by one. Costs three stamina. To reason. Okay, we're in it. This is kind of a crazy, kind of crazy line, uh, setup we have here. Let's just use this. Did it work? Oh, combat. Okay, only during combat. All right. You know what? Let's just roll. We didn't get invisibility. Actually, we didn't get a weapon either, but that's fine. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together, her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? Let's right, check out the sewing machine. Okay. Alright, let's do, um... Let's get a weapon. Let's go to the seaside. We're gonna go to the hardware shop. Let's see. With a shovel. It's a strength weapon. Oh, it costs four funds too. It's really pricey. Mm. We're here, let's just take it. Okay. Absolutely equip this shovel. I was hoping to find something cheaper, but you know what? I think the shovel gives us a small chance of gaining funds. Okay. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. Alright, we're gonna... this is a charisma check. Nice. Un unintimidated by the painting, it gives you new insight into the madness that possessed your friend. Plus five experience. The trees overhead block the sunlight, and you begin to feel gloomy. Negative two reason. Okay, let's go, let's go. Someone has branded... Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. Okay, let's assume the worst. Branded like cattle. Oh no, these things again. You follow the faint sound to a telephone line pole. The moment you notice giant hairy balls underneath it, they start to twitch in more eyes. Okay. Oh, these things are gruesome looking. Plus two doom. What are we doing with this shovel? Can we prepare? Maybe we can prepare a few strong attacks. Nine, eighteen, twice. So it's gonna hit us twice. 
<gasps> I'm just trying to understand what this thing does when it, uh... When it, uh... When it, uh, attacks you. Sounds like it's taking a bite out of you. <gasps> One more time. Nice. Let's go to the seaside. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. We have spells that can heal us. Ooh, maybe I should have used Absorb. I should have used Absorb before instead of taking those... those... that doom damage. Okay, got another curse. Normally that's bad, but right now it's pretty good. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Brain damage, that's a tough one. Okay, hopefully this works out. Hopefully this works out in the end. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. In the envelope, you find a key to his apartment. How could you disappear for a year? But then, still have furniture in, in the apartment. I guess they didn't find someone to stay there. <laughs> while, while moving the wardrobe through the doorway, you take a wrong step and sprain your ankle. It's nothing serious, but you'll have a problem walking for a few days. Okay. Took a little bit of stamina damage there. Excuse me. Do you have a moment to talk about our real lord and savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. Definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello, are you still there? We hung up before and we took some reason damage. Let's listen to them. I'm trying to see if we can get some doom reduced on this. Okay. You learned some useful bits of information about your nemesis. However, if everything the man said was the truth, humanity is doomed. So we got the doom reduced, but we, we lost three reason. Let's use the... Um, Let's use the Memory Extract spell and heal ourselves a little bit. So it's going to eat up some of our experience. Oh, weird. Okay, now it worked. Didn't work the first time. Let's do it again. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't hurt to, to do it again. Just get our reason up. So we're burning experience, but... You try to avoid mirrors, afraid of what could be waiting for you on the other side. Alright, negative one reason. Let's bring the doom down. Okay. You're stopped by two nurses. Ready to apologize and explain yourself, you notice their weird smiles, dead stares. Sharp knives. I think this is the two nurse combat encounter I've, that I've never seen before. Whoa, man! And they do they do a lot of damage. Um, it's doing stamina damage, and the other one's doing reason. Okay. Well, we can definitely take out the um, nurse B. I think in like one swing. But we're going to get hit with the stamina damage from the first nurse. Because we don't have a choice. The anomaly attendant and corpse caregiver. Okay, let's, let's drop one of them. We're going to hit the um, nurse B. I guess that's the corpse caregiver. But the first one's going to strike us. Okay, sick. Let's see. Stamina. Deals two damage. Let's use this. Okay. It doesn't look like it did anything to them, but I don't know, I don't know what the advantage of that was. <laughs> um, did we gain back to some stamina? I can't even tell. All right. Let's um. Can we do? Let's do a strong attack, and we'll take about out of the next one. Oof. 
Okay. Um, let's do... Can we do... I don't know if I want to do it again. Deals 2 damage, gain 2 reason. Cost 4 stamina. Can we go with maybe... Let's drink this. Okay. Let's, let's finish him. Okay. Well, we got a steak knife. I guess that's something we can throw at him. At the next enemy. Alright, let's go. We can also throw this empty bottle. Mr. O, your neighbor, is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satis satisfying ending for his newest story. I'm just gonna let him come up with his own stuff. <laughs> it was all a dream. You're a genius, he shouts, grabbing a pencil. Excuse me. Excuse me now, I've got, I've got a bestseller to write. Roll your eyes and prepare to leave. I'm just totally fed up with this guy. Alright, we're going to the mansion. The investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. I'm going to say no time for it. I think we're going to get some doom reduced. Yeah. As inviting as it may be, you have more important things to do. I'm going to have three doom. Okay. This is a luck check. You have a feeling that you're being watched, and when you hear a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. There's someone standing in the trees just a few meters away. Let's confront the person. Okay. It was a luck check failure, but the penalty's not as bad as I thought it would be. The decomposing skin and vacant stare can only mean one thing. It's a corpse someone has propped up. The idea that someone could do it so close to you and so quietly makes you shudder. Okay, plus two doom. Let's, um, let's do the me memory extract spell. We'll do it twice. My stamina's kind of low, but we're, um... We, we will... I think we'll find a way to bring it back up somehow. You meet with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital, watching the sunset. Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. We're not going to ruin the calm moment. Sometimes it's better not to know. You chat until your friend's break is over, plus one reason. Okay, cool. Let's get to 20. What is this? I think this was dexterity check. I'd opt to set the trash can on fire, but I think it also brings up doom. You enter the hospital looking for information about a certain patient. The main corridor is dark and strangely empty. You spot a nurse at the registration booth. She's asleep from exhaustion. I think setting the trash can on fire will raise the threat level, but we've I think we cast a spell that allows us to... No, maybe that was the turn before. I don't think we had it this time. Let's try to sneak past her again. Okay, cool. You managed to sneak past her and rummage through the cabinet. Finally, you locate the information you were looking for, plus 10 experience. All this experience is just going to healing our reason, but that's fine. The round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. Okay, if you fight it, you're going to lose. You lose reason, and you get pulled into it anyway, so we're going to get lost in the light. The blinding light is growing larger and larger. To your shock, you can feel the ground under your feet. You prepare yourself for whatever is coming. Come on, it's got to be the bleeding desert. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Our perception's not super high, but... I'm so. I think I'm still going to try to enter the destroyed temple. A parasitic star is looming over the dying civilization. Is this the fate of our planet as well? Let's try to enter the destroyed temple. It's sweet. Yeah, we got the katana. That's awesome. Perception check success. Inside a decaying nave, you find a keepsake from the ancient world. There's a humanoid skeleton wearing ruined armor. Its weapon looks strangely familiar. Sick, that's a dexterity weapon too. Let's equip that. So, looks like we have a lot of items to throw. The katana is fantastic. Um, 
Okay. Let's um let's investigate the downtown. It's this one again. What was this? It's really weird. It's perception or dexterity. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package but hesitate, an icy feeling settling into the pit of your stomach. I feel like ignoring it, we absolutely lose reason. Let's try to examine it. I think even if this, even if this fails, it's like two reason. So it was a dexterity check. Okay. It's not until you've unwrapped, unwrapped it that you understand what it is. Shocked, you let it fall to the floor from your bloodied hands. Negative two reason. Okay, let's keep going. Walking through the woods, you discover a sweater. It's torn apart and covered in blood. <clears throat> but where is the owner? Let's assume the worst. A wild beast must have killed this poor person. You say a quick prayer before continuing. Negative two reason. Almost to turn 20. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Okay, we got a two point, two doom penalty there. Okay, let's peel the doom back. Let's go to 30. Maybe we can get to 50 this turn. When the patient, when the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They're mumbling something quietly as you pass by. Let's let, let them know they aren't alone. I think this is because we have the paranoia curse. Okay. The patient instantly recognizes the kindred soul in you. You help them sneak out of the hospital and they join you in your quest. So we gained an ally, but then plus two doom. But because we have the seventh curse backstory, our, our allies always get eliminated, so... Ryoko was hit by a truck. <laughs> right there in the middle of the hospital wing. <laughs> Inside the building. A truck drove through and, and hit them. Now let's go to these apartments. Oof, I, d I don't like this one. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts a deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. If we call the police, we'll gain, I think, a doom penalty. This might be dexterity if we try to get closer to the door and ask what's the matter. I'd rather take my chances. Okay, cool. The roll was successful. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. Luckily, you manage to stand still. After a couple of minutes, the man retreats, probably unsure of your home after all. That's when you take the katana. <laughs> Poke him in the eye. <laughs> Gotta poke him in the eye right there. You spot a woman on the beach and decide to get close to her and ask, what is she doing alone and so late? When the woman turns around, you stop. Her mouth is opening and shutting, gulping in air as if it was unnatural to her. In her large eyes, there's only rage. I don't think I've seen this before. The Koi Woman. Wow, no, I've never seen this character before. Um, okay. Maybe... Weird, okay. We're doing a lot of damage here. I'm wondering if we can pull off doing... Two... Hmm, two normal attacks for... I think we can add an attack boost to each normal attack here for be 18 damage. With the abut with the buff, it's gonna be a 67% chance to hit. I guess we can try. Nice, okay. Cool. We didn't have to throw any of our items. Let's keep going. I need more curses. I need more I need more curses to uh, buff my stats. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady looking a shady looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? Let's follow them. I think this is a perception check. Okay, cool, we got some doom reduced. 
The door is locked, but you repeat the knocking pattern the suspicious man used. A moment later, the door opens and a, and a surprised teen with greasy hair asks who the hell you are. Mistaking these nerds for cultists sure is embarrassing, but deep inside, you're relieved. Okay, we're at 24, almost at 30. Oh no, okay, hold on. Walking through the village, you're suddenly pulled behind a building. Two menacing looking masked figures block your escape. Do you serve the old ones? I think if I say yes, I'll gain two allies, but I'll also gain like 10 doom. But then I think if I say serve what, I also get penalized. Which should say serve what? I don't think I can take on 10 doom. Okay, it was the. So we take reason. Masked men are visibly puzzled. Sorry to bother you, says one, and they disappear around a corner. What was that about? Okay. Let's, um. I've got some experience. Let's use memory extract and, and heal some of our reason. And let's keep going. We're definitely going to hit 30. Might be able to get to stage 50. Suddenly it got really cold in the corridor. As you turn to leave, you're stopped by a man with unnaturally pale skin and giant lips. He kisses the air and takes a step closer. It's the same gigolo. The same gigolo is hanging out in these corridors. Um, damn, they're definitely going to hit us once. Unless... Maybe for 18. Hold on. Two stamina. Okay, let's cast. Let's cast absorb. We're gonna do memory extract to get our reason back up. And let's um let's start let's start putting some work on this dude. Let's see. Oh, he's at eight, eight, He's at eighteen. Okay, so actually, let's try a normal attack here. Let's do. We'll put a buff on two normal attacks, which should be 18. So they're hitting for a 70% chance to hit, so if we're lucky, these will both land. Damn, okay. Hit us once. Let's, let's prepare a normal attack and finish him. Okay. I'm gonna go right back to memory extract here and heal ourselves for the damage that they did. We're never gonna level up, but. We're also not losing a ton of... We're, we, we, there's some pattern here where, where I'm able to heal stamina and reason. Alright, let's go to the forest. The suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They're enacting some sort of a ritual in a clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. Let's sabotage the ritual? I, I never really get that, that choice. I guess, it's, is it because we have the ritual robe? You pull the hood tighter around your face and blend easily into the robe crowd. A toppling brazier interrupts the ritual in. Amidst all the chaos, you make an escape. That's that's actually really awesome. I don't think I've ever... I've never done that before because I've never had the ritual robes. So we got a little bit of doom reduced. A trail to an abandoned Shinto shrine is overgrown and steep. However, it could be an, an important place to investigate. If you take the quick route, it's a strength check. If we take the safe route, we're definitely going to accrue some doom. Let's try to take the quick route. Okay, cool. Because you're in a hurry, you hike to the hilltop. Burnt out candle wax and dried blood around the shrine mean a new sinister cult has claimed the location. We gained some experience for that. Let's keep going. Okay. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model, it's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Negative one stamina. Okay, we're almost at 30. I think we can get to 50. Oh, this is this is an opportunity to, to gain a curse and gain some stamina. Suddenly the onyx medallion begins to shake violently. You try to stop it by pressing it hard to your chest and it burns your skin. You yell in pain, catching the attention of a man standing nearby. He takes a step towards you and grabs your hand, clearly trying to help. Help just like your friends try to. Before you can say anything, the man explodes into a cornucopia of blood and gore. The medallion has claimed another victim. 
We're gonna search their remains. Okay, cool. Being guided by the medallion's strange powers, you stick your hand into the pile of steaming flesh. The meat fuses with your skin and slowly gets absorbed. So plus two stamina, plus five experience, but we got another curse. We can just, we can get rid of, I don't think we can get rid of curses now, but some of these curses are doing a lot of, really affecting some of my stats negatively. Brain damage is giving me negative two knowledge, and I think hunger is uh, affecting our charisma. Let's bring the Doom back. Let's keep going. Let's go to the hospital. As part of the therapy, some patients took part in art classes. Some of their work fills you with dread. Negative two reason. Okay. Let's get to 40. We're on 31. Alright, let's go. We're going to go into another, to another shadow realm here. You stand in the middle of the field, frozen in terror. A rip in our reality shows the horrible future of our planet. Seeing the familiar figure looking back at you, you can't help but wonder if it's our world that's just an illusion. We're jumping into the portal. You and the figure get closer to the portal, ready to swap places. Alright, let's see which, which shadow realm it's sending us to. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Hopefully it's not the boreal expanse. We have the empty bottle, so we can actually get out of this without taking any stamina or reason damage. Deserted temples overlook the giant corpses of the forgotten beasts, with no priests to harvest it. Their blood is slowly flooding the land. All right, we're going to fill an empty bottle with blood. Oh, damn, there was a doom penalty for that. I guess that's you're going to lose something going through here, I guess. You fill a container with the sacred blood. Bringing it back to your reality is surely a corruption of all rights. <laughs> it won't do you any good. Okay. So. I can't, absolutely cannot drink this. It's, um, if you have the goblet, you can drink. You can, you can drink it, but if you, if you drink this in anything but the goblet, it's going to be like that scene from, uh, the, uh, Last Crusade, where you just it, you just basically just like melt, but I think we can use it as a throwing weapon. I think we can use it as a throwing weapon, and it does damage. So we've got a nice, we've got a kind of like a bandolier of throwing items. Let's go to the apartments. Oh no no no! Okay. Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. I want to keep the one fun we have. I don't recognize the brands of soda inside. We really could use a drink. Let's get the cheapest one. Okay. It worked, thankfully. You buy a can of off-brand soda and take a sip. It tastes a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyway. I don't know how many times I've gotten a, a can of soda before and it, the flavor was a little off. Maybe it's had something to do with... <laughs> World of Horror. A sudden storm forces you to find a shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's walls. Let's try to decipher them. You recognize the strange symbols and connect them to the horrors plaguing your town. Plus five experience. Okay. Let's keep going. Here's a doom penalty. Unseasonal floods have closed many of the roads. Let's look for an alternative way. You've wasted a lot of time looking for a safe path. Right, plus three doom. Almost to 40. We can definitely get to 50. Oh no, don't take my one dollar, please. While walking through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. I feel like the threshold for this role is definitely more in the player's favor, but sometimes you fail it. Realize what's happening. Ah, they took my money. <laughs> Before you realize your wallet is missing, the thief is long gone. Okay, let's sell, let's sell the steak knife. Let's get one fun back. Let's keep going. Let's go to the forest. Damn, they're hitting me with the, the, the doom now. The investigation has taken a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. 
Don't don't play me like that. Stop. This is a crime scene. You are halted by a sweaty police officer. Behind him, two other policemen are packing something in black bags. Let's focus on the officers. It's a perception check. Damn, okay. You manage to catch a glimpse of a corpse with crushed head. Blood and gore is everywhere in the sand. Okay, come on. Almost to 40. Almost to 40. This is the... Uh, they performed countless dissections to find the answer. Instead, they found it. This is the this is the anatomy horror. It's doing a lot of damage. It's a shame because I can't um I can't actually attack it with my weapon. Let's see, twelve. Can we throw something at this? Will we'll do damage to it? Throwing the, sh the shovel has to be able to... has to do two damage at least. Actually, you know what can we do? Let's do this. Let's cast... Let's cast Absorb. Okay. Good. Let's, uh, let's do Memory Extract a few times. Get our reason back up. And we're going to do two Severs for six damage. Nice. Okay, cool. Almost a 40, we're on 39. <sighs> they, they don't even know what they're running into. Now that I got this katana, it's trouble. I'm trouble. You try to lose the masked man that has been following you the whole morning. You eventually find yourself in a dead end. Looking for a way out, you hear a branch snapping behind you. I've been trying to get away from you because I was worried about how I was going to take you down if you finally showed up, my friend. Negative 2 stamina damage. Okay, okay, let's see. Nine damage. Ah, this might be an opportunity to use this bottle. They have 24 HP. Let's see. I could try to do two normal attacks. Let's see, let's see. This would be four. This would be four. 18 damage if these if these both hit. Let's see, I wonder if I should try the bottle on them. It's not too late. I feel like it's not too late now. Let's oh, I can't throw it. Really? I thought, I thought this was like a weapon. Oh no, okay. Maybe I'll just have to sell this later? I, I absolutely do not want to use this. I thought I'd be able to use it as a throwable item. Okay. Um... Maybe I throw the shovel? Maybe I throw the shovel at them. Okay, you know what? Maybe I could, I'll take the two stamina damage. Let's, uh, let's load up. I think we can do a buff for each normal attack. So if these land, it'll do 18 damage. Let's try it. Okay. Um, let's throw the shovel. Let's throw the shovel in. We'll do a. Uh, we'll prepare a strong attack and finish him. Okay. I really thought this bottle would do. So I can't throw it as a weapon. It's probably not worth anything but just selling it then. We'll try it again with the next enemy that we run into. Let's peel the Doom back a little bit. Let's keep going. Man, I'm, I'm hitting all the enemies now. Ritsuko-chan was the most promising athlete in the school. They're definitely doing stamina damage. I remember this one. When she suddenly disappeared, the case was quickly closed without any suspects. Today, she has finally dug herself out. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I think we can prepare a strong attack and drop them in, in one hit. Nice. This ka the katana is so sweet. All right, let's get to 50. I think we can get to 50. Wait, we're just gonna hit with them back to back. You were startled when you discovered that headless body. You were horrified when you saw its head hanging in the middle of the room and laughing. It's like the decapitated head? Animated head. Ooh, but look at this, look at this. Prepare a strong attack. Boom, one hit, it's over. <laughs> okay, 
What does this do? Combined with the sewing kit. Okay. I guess we'll hold on to it. Let's keep going. We're definitely going to get to 50. Unless something absolutely crazy happens, we're definitely getting to 50. As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You, you're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. We're going to do... Um, I don't think our strength is high enough. Let's take a hot bath. We're going to get one doom point for that, but I think it's worth, worth getting that over. Taking stamina damage. Let's keep going. They're coming out of the woodwork right now. You suddenly trip and grab the railing in the last second. Okay, this is the twisted corpse. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the railing you stairs. You suddenly trip and grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror and is slowly standing up. Oh man, only if they were a human enemy I would, I would drop them so quick. Um... A material offering. It's doing as much damage as the katana, though. I don't want to get hit by them. Let's see. Okay, I guess I really can't use the bottle. I'm gonna have to sell that. It's just taking up, it's just wasting my time. It's taking up room in my inventory. Let's see. We're we doing what two for six, twelve. What if we do? What if we do an absorb? We do some memory extracts to heal ourselves, and then we're just going to finish him with. We're going to do a two severs here. Nice, sick. We're definitely getting to fifty. I feel like I've, I've, I've gotten a good stride here with this spell combination. A woman, it's like I can heal my stamina now and heal my reason. And it's just taking it from my experience pool, which I'm always accumulating. So it's kind of like self, like a self-fulfilling cycle here. A woman bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. If I can't see it, she cries. You can't see me, right? You shudder, seeing a faint vision of Guizo reflected in the beauty parlor's mirrors. <sighs> Man, I'm wondering if I should sell. I should definitely sell this bottle. Let's sell the hair. I'm gonna take a little bit of doom, but I feel like it's worth going to. Maybe is, is it worth getting the compass now? There's like no guarantee that it'll be in the shop. Oh, whatever. No, let's keep going. I feel like it's kind of too late. Let's investigate the apartments. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. This could be... we could lose our funds right here. Let's read these letters. Damn, okay. Staying up late investigating the current case has really increased your electricity bill. You know, it's like you... You can't get it. You can't even get two dollars in this world. <laughs> Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Location's threat level increases. I think we were in the... that was in the apartments, right? Almost to 50. Let's see if we can get to 60. Crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse, carried to the beach by waves. If we escape, we definitely take some kind of damage. Let's try to search the body. It's like, this has to be perception or dexterity. Reaching for the body, you're attacked by several crabs that don't want to share their meal. Negative 2 stamina. Come on, let's get to 50. I know who this is. Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty, yes. This is exactly what I need. You shudder, seeing the weird woman reaching to her pocket and grabbing a nasty looking knife. Pretty face, mind if I borrow it? Oh yeah. Oh, I mind. They're doing a ton of damage too. Negative three stamina, huh? Okay, let's do, um, let's do this. We're gonna do two memory extracts. Let's see. And can we, I wonder, I wonder if we have enough experience and reason to 
I want to use absorb. Okay. Let's see. That'd be like... No, no, no. Hold on. That may not work. Okay, hold on. Let's, let me try something. I might end up taking too much. It would have to be... It would be... If I do it absorb two more times, I'm going to have to... I'm going to burn 40 experience. Okay, you know what? Actually, this might be... It sounds crazy, but this might be worth it. Okay, 14. Let's do... Let's bring our uh, reason back up. One more time. Okay, we're going to do it again. Okay. Now let's prepare a strong attack and finish him. And we get the... Oh, lucky earrings. Interesting. Let's, um, let's equip these. And... Should I sell the ritual robe? Additional magic slot. Maybe we sell the robe. I'd like to get one fun back. We're gonna cast uh, memory extract one more time. Okay. Let's get to 50. Hopefully we can peel the doom back. Come on, bring them. They heard that I got the katana. They're just like, oh, no, 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 no. Hold on one second. We gotta stop. We're gonna, slow. We're gonna stop this dude. He's got the katana. No, no, no. <laughs> Walking on the beach, you discover a giant charred pit. As you wonder what was burned here and why, you hear a crackling sound getting louder and everything around you is getting hotter. I think this is a ghost, actually. I'm not going to be able to... Yeah, I can't, um... Oof, they're doing a lot of damage. Let's see. Cost three stamina. Lowers Eldritch enemy damage by one. But how much... How many, how many attacks can we do here? Let's see. Man, they're strong. 612. So they're gonna hit me once for two. Let's see. They're kinda crazy because they I think they have the ability to burn me. But they're gonna only hit me once. Okay. Burning man suddenly stands still. Okay, let's do it again. Let's finish him. I think this is corpse dust. Okay. I don't think we can do anything with this. We can sell it. I got have two luck. No, let's sell it. Let's bring the doom back. Okay, I think we can get to 60. I totally think we can get to 60. The investigation has taken a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads plus four doom. Damn. Come on. Damn, boy, they hit me with everything. You can't shake the feeling that those small dock buildings hide some terrible secrets. Plus two doom. Wow. They're just tearing me up. I gotta get some, some doom reduction. That was like a whole ten doom. Suddenly the air around you begins to whirl. The supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. Let's brace ourselves. This is definitely a strength check. The blizzard chills you to the bone and disappears as quickly as it began. Come on. Come on. Maybe 70? If we get really lucky, we can get we can get kind of far in this. As you walk through the village, crops waver in the breeze, following your every movement. I got two reason. Come on, we're almost there. Almost the sixty. Might be able to get to seventy. Walking through the hospital corridor, you're stopped by an older man with a cast on his leg. Could you help me go down these stairs? All right, dexterity check. Let's try to help him. You struggle to help the man, but you both fall down the stairs. The man's cast breaks, and you scream. Underneath the cast, there's a seething sore frothing with green bubbles. The man smiles, his smile way too wide for his face. Come on. Let's go. We got. We, we can do this. <sighs> okay. You find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. I'm gonna try to check the plaques and trophies. Okay, you find a small trophy with a curious plaque. Grand Champion of the Cannibal Eating Contest of 56. Let's definitely heal. Let's do some memory extracts. We'll do one. Almost a 60. Damn. They are gonna tear me up. 
I might, I might make an excuse. A pale woman wearing a nurse outfit stops you. Today we're running a blood drive to help those in need. You look healthy. Will you be so, will you be so kind and help the community? I'm gonna make an excuse. You make an excuse and leave the disappointed nurse behind. Otherwise, if I fail it, if I do it and it fails, they're gonna take a ton of my my stamina health. And I I can't afford that. You decide to enter a small shady bar in the docks. Maybe some of the old fishermen can help you in your quest. However, persuading them to do so might prove difficult. Let's buy them around. No fisherman would refuse a free round. They tell you to t they tell you tales of sunken cities inhabited by underwater things with too many legs. Okay, we lost a buck, but we gained a little bit of experience there. Almost a 60. Might be able to swing 70 if we're really lucky. Seeing the two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Let's research the occult notes. Okay. Re reading the ramblings of a madman has made you sick. Okay, we're gonna do some memory extracts again. Let's do two of them. Come on, let's get to 60. Damn, 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 damn. I hate this one. You had no idea that the funeral you've been invited to would end with the guests slashing their hands to feed the deceased with their blood. You stay at the back, shocked by how grotesque it is. Suddenly, the guests turn their heads in your direction. It's your turn now. Okay. Um, let's try to... Um, it's... I feel like... It doesn't really matter. We can go with fight our way out or t try to talk our way out of it because we have both our strength and our charisma are the same. Let's try to fight our way out this time. Oof, okay. We got an, an injury. Damn, it's not a curse, though. <laughs> I guess it's better than taking stamina damage. The guests mean business. What does this do? I just want dexterity. The guests mean business. You break into a frantic run. However, this only enrages the, the mourners. They soon catch up and overpower you. After an involuntary sacrifice, they toss you out in the street. Okay. Bring the doom down. Bring the doom down. Absolutely bring the doom down. Let's, let's get to 70. Let's get to 70 on Har Harbinger of Doom difficulty. You find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. The side is cashed in a note from someone who's been watching you. They wish you luck in your task and promise to meet you soon. Just how did this envelope end up in your bedroom? Plus two funds. They could have one reason. Okay. I, maybe we can get to 80? While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. The elevator doors open. Uh, it's gonna be... It's a luck check. Whew, that's a ton of reason. Elevator doors open, revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator, biting and suffocating you. Later, you wake up in a doctor's office. A nurse discovered you lying unconscious on the elevator floor. Let's, let's burn some memories here. Let's do, we'll do one. We'll do one memory extract. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to, cha it's starting to change. Location threat level increases. Come on. Keep sending some enemies again. Feel watched. Okay, we only have the option to retreat. All right, let's let's do some more memory extract. Actually, maybe we'll use let's um let's forget the thought to flame and let's abolish to lowers eldritch enemy damage by one. Maybe we'll hold on to that. Let's, we'll do one memory extract. Okay. Running out of memories. Memory here to burn. Oh, man, they're just. They're really trying to knock my reason out. Corpses are strung up on wire like macabre marionettes with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Come on. You can't keep doing this to me. Let's do. I want to do another memory extract. I want, I want my reason. Five, five more, like five more turns. Yes, give me the curses. Your reflection twists and shimmers when you're not looking at it directly. Guizo is getting closer. Oh yeah, give me, give me all the, 
give me all the curses you can give me. Okay, let's see. Wonder what um it looks like maybe 70s. 70s where we're going, maybe 70 something, let's see. Okay, this is an opportunity to gain some stamina. Suddenly the onyx medallion begins to shake violently. You try to stop it by pressing it hard to your chest, and it burns your skin. You yell in pain, catching the attention of a man standing nearby. He takes a step towards you and grabs your hand, clearly trying to help. Help, just like your friends tried to. Before you can say anything, the man explodes into a cornucopia of blood and gore. The medallion has claimed another victim. We gotta just search the remains. I think we get another curse with this. <laughs> oh no, I can't, I can't even keep track of which curses or which. Being guided by the medallion's strange powers, you stick your hand into the pile of steaming flesh. The meat fuses with your skin and slowly gets absorbed. And we gain a little bit of stamina back. Almost a 70. Yes, give me the more curses, Dark Forces scheme against you. Don't know who you can trust anymore. We got another curse. <laughs> look at these stats. These stats look so good. Oh, if I could only just bring this dune down. Oh, another curse. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Oh, I'm just becoming more powerful. If we, we can peel the dune back again. Man, I'm, look how many curses I'm getting. This is crazy. Your reflection twists and shimmers when you're not looking at it directly. Goizo is getting closer. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Negative doom. Perfect. Let's see if we can get to 80. Maybe we can get to 80. Maybe. Another curse and more stamina. This, it's, we, just, we just did cornucopia. Let's just search the remains. Whoa. Okay. This is, getting, this is nuts. I think we can get to 80. Ooh. We're gonna check the bathroom for this. A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower had started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Let's check the bathroom. It's a perception check. Oh, it's, it's a knowledge check. Okay. You don't enter the bathroom. Instead, you go straight to the building's boiler room. One pipe coming from the ground looks like it was welded to the central system recently. Where does it lead? Plus five experience. Come on, let's get to 80. Let's get to 80. Feeling hungry, you've entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special made of today's catch. Just where the hell did those fishermen go? We're gonna take one bite. Nice. Feeling the eye of the restaurant's guests on your back, you take a small bite of the smelly seafood. It's surprisingly good, but you kindly refuse another serving. Okay. So we gain a little bit of experience and we gain one stamina. I think we can get to 80. If we get to 80 and we have the option to pull back the Doom, that'd be great. They say a ghost of a heartbroken boy appears on the street at night. Is it just an urban legend or is there some truth to this tale? Let's spend the night here. You wait an entire night observing the spot where the supposed ghost would appear, but nothing happens. You are relieved it's just a rumor. Okay. Of the forest. We're like one point ahead of the doom. I don't know if it's gonna... Okay, I don't know how, how this is gonna work. You discover a giant plush toy half buried in a ditch. Feeling uneasy, you take a step back, but it's already too late. Oh boy, let's finish him. We'll prepare a strong attack and knock this dude out on the head. Fantastic, okay. This is crazy. Damn, shit. The, the doom's catching up. With the trail growing cold, it might be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. I'm going to say it's a waste of time. The mere thought of studying all those old dusty newspapers makes your head hurt. There's no way you're going to waste an entire day in that moldering library. Damn. The doom's even with me now. I wonder if I'll make it to 80 and still be able to peel back the, um... Peel back the, um... The doom. Shit, okay. Let's investigate the hospital. Ooh. Oh 
no, it's it's like it's it's like growing incrementally. I don't think there's anything I can do to reduce it. Um You find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thud remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary where doctors determined the cause of death. Maybe we'll check out the freezer this time? Oh shit, up this of course it was a combat. You take a peek into the freezer, but you can't see anything important. You wonder what could smell so awful if there's nothing inside. Nearby the body of the dis dissection table. Nearby the body on the dissection table twitches slightly. Oh, it's a ghost too. Damn. Alright. Never look in the freezer. <laughs> Seven fourteen. Okay, so we should be able to knock him out. The doom might 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 max out. So we're on turn 77. Damn, if I can only get to 80, let me see. I don't think there's anything we can sell. Sometimes some of these spells will let you reduce some doom, but lowers Eldritch enemy stat, enemy damage by one. I don't think there's anything I can do. I just gotta keep going. If I get really lucky and I get something that reduces it. Oh no! This this should reduce Doom by a little bit. Um, excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real lord and savior? The day of reckoning is coming. This is the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello, are you still there? We're gonna listen to him. Gonna take some reason damage, but also reduce the doom by by five. Sick. That's more than I thought. It's a lot more than I thought it was gonna, it was going to give me. You learned some useful bits of information about your nemesis. However, if everything the man said was the truth, humanity is doomed. Oh, we're doing okay. Let's do memory extract. Just heal a little bit of reason. Okay, we can make it to eighty. If we get to eighty and it grants us the doom reduction, we're going to be able to go past turn eighty. Which honestly, on, on Harbinger difficulties, is super, super difficult. The store shouldn't be here. It shouldn't lead anywhere. More importantly, it shouldn't pull you in. Alright, we're gonna jump in. We're jumping into the Shadow Realm. Slowly, you enter the unknown. Where are you? Come on, bees. Anything but the Boreal Expanse. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Of course, it's of course we go to the Boreal Expanse. Of course we go to the Boreal Expanse. Let's um... I think there's an item. Maybe it's the ring. I think it gives Doom though. Maybe we'll move towards the Pyramid. I'm trying to remember which one. One of them might even reduce Doom. I'm trying to think of maybe we give up. Temperature, the temperature abruptly drops and you shudder the icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. A sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb and freezing, and you have to move. I can't remember. Um, someone told me about this once. I'm trying to remember what it was. I'm trying to remember which one does doom, if any of them do doom reduction. Checking the icy coast can give the ring. Moving towards the pyramid, I can't remember what that does. Let's try moving towards the pyramid. Okay. Oof. Oh, right, there's a status effect that we have now. The frozen guard corpse is standing on, on eternal guard. Duty find you worthy. The usurper king kindly decides to share. His forbidden knowledge with you. Plus 30 experience. Minus 3 reason. Okay. Let me, um. Let me heal. And. 79. Shit. Hopefully this only goes up one point. Let's see. Okay. Um. Something pulls you towards the beach. The statuette, half buried in sand, is calling you. 
Feeling your hand shaking, you take a step closer while taking it home. The statuette is surprisingly heavier than it looks. Mesmerized, you take it home and wonder where you'll display it. Yes. Okay. So, now we're past 80. I don't think I'm going to level up. I don't think it's going to benefit me to level up. I need that to for, mem for the memory extract. Let's go. So turn 80. Maybe we can get to 85 if we're lucky. The investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. I feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address your weakened state? Let's buy a coffee. I think it's like one fund. This double frappe macchiato is a nice pick-me-up. Okay, maybe if we get a... It'd be really cool if we can get another... Um, another doom-reducing uh, event. You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. If she knows something useful, it's just a writer for coffee, too. In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly, slowly awakening to rule the earth once again. Okay, let's see how far, let's see how far we can get. Okay, while wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees. And by the looks of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? I think the only thing we can do is try to decipher them. You're certainly the mis you're certain the missing people were here. You're on the right trail. Oof, 85? Maybe we'll get to 85? It's the apartment stalker. At least they're going to leave us our, their bat. You hear rustling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone's trying to get in. Negative three stamina, huh? And you came. You showed up to the wrong, <laughs> the wrong party, my friend. Okay, let's um, let's swing on him. Or maybe hold on. Can we do? Let's do something here. Let's let's kind of let's kind of work this. This uh. This. System that we're working. Let's do. Maybe we can get out of this without even getting hit hit once. Let's do. Two damage, gain two stamina. Okay. That probably won't make a difference in the end anyway. Let's just prepare the strong attacks. Let's just finish them. We'll finish them in the next one. Okay, give it to me. Let's do concussion. Okay, <laughs> give me the bat. Okay, cool. Oh, damn! That was my doom. My doom. <laughs> my doom maxed out. I guess the horrible god snatched almost everyone from the city. Weeks later, you and a group of survivors have managed to cover all mirrors of a building you currently reside in. When you see your reflection in your lover's eyes, it takes you a while to realize the gut-wrenching implications. You start to scream. Guizo has found another way in. Yeah, Guizo is a... Guizo is a pretty, um... Pretty crazy god. Okay, so our Doom... Doom maxed out. I don't know how many stages that was. I think that was like 83 or 84, maybe? But I think that's like the furthest I've ever gotten on on Harbinger of Doom on an endless run. Um, I'd say that's that was pretty substantial considering like your stats considering how much lower your stats are in Harbinger of Doom and how much more um deadly the enemies are I, th I feel like maybe if I guess the combination of memory extract and absorb spells like allowed me to heal and regain reason which which with the the primary like a uh, resource being experience which you're always gaining through investigations anyway so I could heal the reason with experience and then heal stamina with reason so, 
Normally Harbinger of Doom runs go for like 40 rounds, but I was able to almost double that to 80. And if I had more Doom, I got this whole string of curses too at one point. If I had more, if I had more room to extend the Doom, maybe, maybe I would have been able to get further in the Harbinger run. Um, I know there's something called like the Monument. I probably need to unlock that so I can. I think it gives you the option to reduce Doom. That probably would have helped. But I'd say that was a pretty good run. Wasn't how I thought it was gonna. I didn't think this is how it was gonna pan out. Like, my original plan was to um, get the invisibility spell, but I guess, you know, I kind of had to go through the motions there to figure out a better way, a better system. So, um, Ayaka's ability to increase her stats with curses definitely helped later on. And, I mean, finding the katana made dealing with the enemies much easier. So, I mean, over like I've said it, but overall, I think that was that was pretty solid. So, um, that's about all the time I think I have for tonight. But I hope you all had fun, and um, I'll definitely come back and try to brainstorm some more endless run formulas to see if we can get even further. So, I hope you all have a great day or a great night. I will see you all soon. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, and yeah, I'll catch you later. Be good.